Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods, Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, October 19th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. During a post-game interview, former NFL GM Mike Lombardi said to a reporter, the problem with success comes when you start believing the hype. But if it's your natural tendency to put on your hard hat and go to work the way Brandon Curry does, it doesn't leave a whole lot of time to get caught up in your own hype now, does it? Over the weekend, we saw another update from Brandon and his team out there in Oxygen Gym that should have put everyone else in this year's lineup on notice. Brandon isn't playing around. He's not buying into the hype. This guy is just out there doing the work. He's trying to beat the man in the mirror. And when that man in the mirror is the best in the world at what he does, it's damn near impossible for you not to be great. As my kids start to get a little older, I'm learning more and more how important it is for them to understand that there are natural consequences for things, and regardless of how many times I try to tell them not to do something, the only way for them to learn is to let reality give them a wake-up call. And for all of you guys out there in the classic physique division who's been sleeping on Lord Jones, you might be about to get a wake-up call too. The former North American champ has been hinting that he might be hitting the stage soon for the first time this season and that he and his team are confident in what they're bringing to the table. In the two times we've seen him compete as a pro, Jones has definitely shown some flashes. So it'll be interesting to see what happens if he can pull it all together at the right time. I've always thought that calling your shot in sports is a little bit of a ballsy move. Because the second things don't go your way, there are a million people out there who take a lot of joy in celebrating someone else's failure. That being said, so far this year, the whole calling your own shot thing has worked out pretty damn good for Logan Franklin. With less than nine weeks before he makes his Classic Physique Olympia debut, the word from Logan's camp is that he's right where he needs to be at this point in the game. And as far as I know, Logan will be one of the athletes to really make history because he's competing in the Olympia, now in the classic physique, previously in men's physique, which is absolutely insane when you think about it. And when you've got this kind of work ethic, success is usually a matter of when, not if. Now that the Bucks finally have their offense on track, I've heard people in the NFL media talk about how the T12 method is extending Tom Brady's Hall of Fame career and how what he's doing with his diet and training are unprecedented for a 43-year-old athlete. But if we're all being honest with each other, wouldn't you take the body of a 47-year-old Jay Cutler over a 43-year-old Tom Brady any day of the week? On Friday, I saw a clip of Jay training shoulders and honestly, it made me jealous. I like to think that I keep myself in pretty good shape, but Jay's taken this whole post-retirement body thing to a completely different level. And to be honest, he's probably setting the bar a little too high for the rest of us. And I think someone with a connection to the Hershey Company should start sending him cases of king-size candy bars so we can level the playing field just a little bit. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.